I am the fountain of affection I'm the instrument of joy and To keep the good times rolling I'm the boy, I'm the boy You know the world could be our oyster If you just put your trust in me Cause we'll keep the good times rolling Wait and see, wait and see Oh, wait and see The port of Halifax has always had huge uh, natural shipping advantages, whether it's for big ships, uh, deep port, the fact that we can run double stack, high, high uh, containers all the way through to Chicago. But what's really exciting is the news of late, all of the massive amount of investments. Now, the most recent news that we're just thrilled to hear about is a new shipbuilding contract that would be based in Halifax. It will last for many, many years and bring in lots of jobs and employment and undoubtedly will require imports and exports to service that. But that's not the only thing going on though. There is a list of projects that are as much as 350 in number that tally up to over 100 billion dollars that in a way will create a huge surge of, of uh, growth, of investment, of business in this whole region. The Port of Halifax is very strategic for worldwide trade. Where we're the first port of call coming from anywhere in the world through the Suez Canal or Europe and the last port of call coming up through the United States is through the Panama Canal. Imports from Europe, the Mediterranean and Suez Transit Asian services can have their cargo arrive in the US Midwest much earlier by discharging their cargo here in Halifax and taking advantage of CN's intermodal services. The Port of Halifax is the closest major East Coast port with the deepest container berths connecting to the Southeast Asia marketplace. Using the CN rail system, they will connect in to critical markets in central Canada as well as the Chicago and Detroit market areas. Through the port of Halifax, shippers can access 40% of the North American marketplace quickly and efficiently. Uh, there is a very strong export market available uh, over the port of Halifax, which means from an ocean carrier's point of view, there's great matchback, meaning for every loaded container that comes in, they can count on getting a loaded container out. Now this doesn't happen by itself, it's because there's been a lot of smart investments by the port, by the terminals, uh, series and hull term, as well as CN. Port of Halifax and the terminals base there have always been pioneers in the supply chain business. Um, you need only go back to 1995 or even in the late 70s and 80s when Halifax was one of the first harbors, first ports to get into serious double stack container movements. Since then, uh, the port, the railroad and the terminals have invested quite literally over hundreds of millions of dollars to make sure that we have a fantastic train service. Port of Halifax continues to position itself as a big ship port. We invest in infrastructure that is designed to handle the increasing deployment of the bigger container ships that we see entering into continual service. In the last two years alone, we've invested $100 million in infrastructure development. The Board of Halterm is committed to the future of, of Halifax and as such have placed an order for two new Super Post Panamax cranes which are due to be commissioned in the third quarter of 2013. Our terminal is uh, invested in the three. Super post pa Panamax cranes, which enable us to work any size vessel in the world. Port of Halifax, we have one railway, and that's CN. The CN railway service our terminal on a daily basis. We have an import train every day and an export train every day, and that service comes directly onto our terminal. Oh, no, 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 I can't get down. The Port of Halifax was the first port in Canada to undertake and sign a comprehensive level of service agreement. We did that with both the terminal operators and with CN Rail. That level of service agreement has resulted in marked improvements in efficiency and productivity on the terminal. We all work together as a team to better improve our service to the shipping lines. We do that on a daily basis, we have communications on a daily basis, and we measure 
uh, our results by dwell times, turn times, and, and continue to improve and work towards that. The great thing about these service level agreements is they have very simple metrics. There's only three or four key ones. How long do the imports dwell? Do we make export cutoffs? Uh, transit time to inland destination. Now with these simple metrics, it's very easy using a BlackBerry to know every day, because we get a report seven days a week, how did each party execute? Did the railroad do what the railroad was supposed to do? Did the terminal do? More importantly, did the customer get the, the traffic on time? Our performance agreement that we have with CN measures dwell time in hours. On average, we are achieving a dwell time measured in single digits. Our partnership between Ceres and CN has worked very well over the years. The last two years, it has taken a step up and now the train is moving. Uh, they put people on, on the ground, Natty McDonald's in Halifax, she does a great job. We talk to her every morning about our plan, what we have to do, what we can do, and what we should do. What really makes this work though, from our point of view, is we have a port manager right on the ground. Uh, Natalie McDonald works every day with the port. I work with Halterm daily, I work with Ceres daily. She communicates with our uh, intermodal headquarters based in Toronto to make sure that we have sufficient cars, that we're meeting export cutoffs, that the customers that are counting on getting their inland cargo to inland markets on time, that they're happy. I orchestrate the traffic flow for intermodal in and out of the port of Halifax with CN Transportation, CN Mechanical, CN Engineering. We talk daily with the Port of Halifax and the port operators to ensure that the traffic's getting on their pier when they need it and getting out and getting on a train as quick as possible. I am lifted, I am lifted When I'm up I can't get down Can't get down, can't get level When I'm up I can't get the down The Port of Halifax has always had a natural advantage. But when you take this advantage and you couple good strategic investments, simple agreements, metrics that are easy to use, service that's being executed very, very well, and you combine all that with a team of people, whether it's the port, the terminals, or the railroad that are fully committed to the project. We're excited, we're keen, we're all working together. We think this is a real success story, and most importantly, the customers love it. I feel we're making a difference now. Can't get down, can't get level when I'm up. I can't get down, get my feet back on the ground. Oh.